All right. Baldur's Gate. Welcome back, friend. No. For a Right here. Right. I was going to break down the one you gave me. Ooh. Did I? I didn't already break it down, did I? No, I didn't. Break what down? The uh, remarkable. I didn't give you the other one. I haven't given it to you yet. Oh. Also, I'm going to give you something else that I might want to do something with. Hook it. Because these. Yeah, uh, the half plate. Yeah, with a plus three, that'll be far superior. Yeah, exactly. I can't give you everything to sell because we can't trade money, so... But I can, at least, um, since you're going to be doing all our ch enchanting. Enchantment? Well, someday I'll get to Dragon Age Origins. I've been meaning to, and I know Emma really wants me to play it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Welcome. Seeking arms and armor? Alright, uh, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and do that for that anyways. Alright, so... Uh, what kind of armor do you have on? Okay, you have Remarkable Studded, okay. Yep. So I'm taking these turners. Oh, I can plus give you. Threes. I can give you my gloves to break down to get the um, Jessens back out. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. Right up button doesn't work. Welcome. Back. My prices are always more than fair, friend. What are you looking for? There we go. Like we're still gonna and... need all the um. Rune stones, but yeah, we have the remember money. how many I actually have. Not to mention, I also have the slight discount. Don't know why I went and bought those. I just needed the rune stones. I could not read for the life of me for a second there. I can tell. We want at least plus three on the superior half plate. Just going to double check for you if they do have anything better half. Uh, nope. Nope, they do not. <laughs> Never mind. My shot All right. So just four. As imports from and hmm. Do you remember how much it was to get up to... I know 16 is 5. 8 is 4 okay. plus 4. Okay, so, so. It's, it's, um, expo it's um exponential. Yeah. I will happily take that. Upgrade this item for a fuckload of money? Yes. Alright, I'm going to drop it for you and then sell all my crap. Ooh, man, sexy. Yeah. Uh, drop. But I need them. I'm doing this before I forget. Okay, they actually One look really good, too. One second. So, <laughs> the, the friend group I was talking about before. Uh-huh. They have arrived. They are being entertained by other roommates and whatnot because talking about other TTRPGs. And uh, the DM for that other TTRPG came in and was like, just handed me a box of pizza. A box of plates. A pizza. Oh, pizza. Okay. Mind you, it's not a full pizza, mind. But. <laughs> pizza. And I received new shipments. Yeah. So if you don't see something here now, check back from time to time. Um I love how I've nearly sold all the shit that I needed to sell in order to get back 
almost up to where I <laughs> had before. Alright. Let's go get our money from Jareth. Yep. Jareth? Jarek. Jarek. One of those two. Oh, by the Ooh. way, bro, there was an Illithid down there. Asshole. To be fair, I don't think that Illithid yeah, was with these in Tarim. I know. Priests of Tempest must have been sad to see you leave the halls of Dragonspear Castle. You recovered the brazier of Eternal Flame? Good. Here, your reward. Okay. Tell me about the Oceanic Urn. The Oceanic Urn is an aquamarine studded golden urn. Last seen in the hands of pirates based out of Seer's Cove. One pirates. Of ships could get you there, though you'd have to row ashore yourself. We'll be back I'll, ret it. I'll return when I have the Oceanic Urn. Hey, I rhymed. <laughs> I wonder if we have to talk to Randala to get there now. That'd be kind of cool. Kind of a way of introducing them back into the plot, as it were. Yeah. So I'm going to actually make another another save. Because your gloves are f***ing expensive if we sold them. Okay. I I'm just saying, if we need, like, quick money, we can just reload that save, have you drop them. Oh, yeah, re get my character back in. Yeah. Greetings again, adventurer. Okay, nope. I guess not. Cool lady doesn't have any more quests for us. She doesn't like us, man. Oh, man. You know what's a terrible right. idea I've been having, and I don't want to do it because I'd be honestly terribly embarrassed if I tried it? Yeah. Showing off the old games I worked on in college. I don't know, I think that would be pretty cool. Let's see, butters get... Ah, Except there it is. Sea cave. Sea cave. I would be embarrassed. I mean, I'm pretty embarrassed of, like, at least half of the shit that I've record recorded within the last eight years. Holy shit, I've been doing this for eight years. Yeah. Pirates. Barrels. Ah, uh, 209 damage on a crit. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait until Act Three to get whatever upgraded weaponry I might need because we're bound to get better items in. Oh yeah, absolutely. When we get there. Like, the thing is, I'm not going for like a final tier thing at this point right now. But I do like having some boosts, and because these also boost my AC, like. Yeah. Ooh, a sapphire. And probably could have not done that, but alright. Man, for pirates, these guys are dropping basically nothing. Yeah, like you'd think they'd have more shit. At the least more shit than the freaking goblins did. I really hate hit stun, holy cow. Oh, fine half plates. I mean, if you're wearing unenchanted gloves, you could totally put on the half plate gloves. Because you did max out your armor, I think. I completely forgot that I maxed out my armor. 100% actually forgot I, ha I maxed out my armor. Holy shit. Oops. Nope, I'm good. <laughs> yeah. Okay. My my flawless leather gloves are still apparently flawless enough to be as good as half plate. That's cuz they're enchanted. Oh, imperial ring. Neat. Hello kitten. Cat. She's actually been very quiet lately, probably cuz her mouth probably still hurts a bit. Understandable. Considering she had a tooth removed. What matters is she's eating more of her food now. Like, she hasn't been eating terribly much the past couple days. Hmm. 
Which, to be fair, dental surgery. Yeah. That's a pretty good reason. Mild, mild funny to me, by the way. So I took Tuesday off of work because I knew my sleep Monday was going to be absolute trash. Yeah. Because 15 year old cat plus anesthesia. Like, uh, neither of us were going to rest well. We both took Tuesday off. Pretty good idea, honestly. I had a one on one with my boss on Wednesday. And he's like, okay, first off, the most important question how's the kitty? <laughs> I appreciate that. <laughs> I the actually boss that really has priorities, yeah. Yeah, just like the most important part was how was the kitty? I mean, and then it quickly talked, turned to work stuff, which I can't talk about because rules. Yep. Like, you may have noticed anytime I've been talking about work stuff, I've been in very general terms. That is because NDAs exist. <laughs> Man, it sure is fun working at nondescript location. <laughs> I mean, I work from my bedroom. <laughs> but yeah, you're never going to find out where I'm actually employed. Like, you might, but the YouTube public will not. I don't even have it on my LinkedIn. Which, by the way, LinkedIn is now harvesting your data for AI. Unless you turn Whee! it off. This is one of the reasons why I ditched Lincoln as soon as I could. I'm just, so like, yeah, anyone, um, yeah, um. AI, AI is not evil, but I really hate when, when everyone makes this shit opt out because they know nobody would accept it if it was opt in. Oh, for sure. I think one of the shittier things, though, is like any company whatsoever making any sort of thing and making it automatically up as though you had opted in without informing you that, hey, this is a feature. Yeah. Like, oh, my, um... Hell, my insurance did ow. that to me. Like, oh my god. So, again, I mentioned I had surgery in February. I've been dealing mm. with the fallout for this very recently. Um, I got my job in January. And of course, I signed up for new health insurance. Now, I'd been paying for insurance out of pocket to the tune of $600 plus a month. Fun. Ouch. <laughs> Just very ouch. Yep. Ouch. Um, well, I was like, oh, hey, why don't I just keep both insurances active until after this surgery that I knew was coming up? Perfectly reasonable, you know? Oh. Oh, boss fight. I will continue Cat. the story later. Cat and chorus. Oh, dude's got some hit points on him. Watch your health. Oh, yeah, walk out of there, man. Right, stunning blow doesn't seem to work too well against a lot of bosses, I'm noticing. Sometimes. The undead pirates, oh, that's why they're tanky. They're undead as hell. Ah! I've no longer possessed the oceanic urn. Perhaps it lies in the legendary sea temple said to be beneath the seer's island. Ah, fuck. That's a very ominous looking temple. And also, that door was- that- that was not in a fair place, I feel like. Nah, don't think so either. One second. Hold up. I heard the drop of a gemstone, but I could not find it. But yeah, basically, um... So I had, like, the one I'd been paying a lot of money for set as my primary, and the new one I got as my secondary. Hmm. I think that's well, all the loot that they had. It, without informing me, the company I said was my primary saw, oh, she has a group insurance through an employer. That means we're now going to be the secondary. I remind you, without informing me. Ugh. So now there's been the whole argument between the two insurance companies about who's primary and who's secondary. They seem to have worked it out, and I have a confirmation number from their phone call with each other, but I am still salty about it because it was a $13,000 bill I didn't want to pay. Yeah, no. Insurance is a scam. 
Oh, 100 percent. Like freaking most things are when it comes to corporations and whatnot. Oh wait, so these, these aren't it. these aren't fine, so they can't be enchanted anyway. And I'm honestly not going to upgrade for a while. Half plate was just a significant upgrade over what I had. Frog. Hey, Kotoa. Frog. Frog. Wait, Kotoa or so Sahagen? No, those are Kotoa. They die. <laughs> The hogging tend to be fresher waters. Ah, okay. You know, my comment of just like they die reminds me of like one of my favorite bits, like from some it's from some books I like to read. And it was a lot of people who had no idea how to deal with mages because mages had never existed in their land due to reasons. At least not in any recent d time. And some mercenaries were coming to help out, and they're like, um... Uh, and they were being asked, you know, how do you deal with all the mages? It's like, well, they bleed if you stab them, they often can't cast if you get too close and distract them, and here's a bunch of folk remedies. And the populace are just so confused at the idea, yeah, the mages just die if you stab them enough. They're not Thank in Thank gods, here. man. You know what this place reminds me of? Uh, that sea temple where Devela got sneak attack? That sea temple where Devela got sneak attack. Uh. That was a good time, though. And I made a lot of was. use of that sneak attack. I think I was the one who made the most consistent use of any bonus ability gotten from that temple. Hell, I think you were the one to use... Like, besides Link, you were the one to most consistently use, like, all the things that you ever got. Even if we- I remember- I remember, like, it was, like, a few- it was, like, a few levels in when we, like, completely changed out, like, Devela's Monk of the Four Elements class with, like, a oh. revised version. <laughs> yeah, because the one that exists in- Vanilla. Uh, vanilla just sucks ass. Yeah, though it actually worked pretty well when I was playing Baldur's Gate with Dev. Like, here's the thing, I think a lot of 5v stuff is relatively fine, but then, like, the other half of the 5v stuff that is crafted is just... It feels like it's better made in a vacuum of a video game. Yeah. Like, I could see... Because no one group plays the same way as another group. Like, no matter how many fans of Critical Role exist, for example. Yeah. But... I still can't watch that kind of stuff, honestly. I can, but it's hit or miss and it depends on the group. It makes me too self-conscious. But no, um... What was I trying to say? But, like, the whole thing with Warlocks is that they hinge on the fact that people take short rests. A lot of and people those... don't take short rests, though. And no one takes short rests. Like, I when I was playing, we had like a two and a half year campaign going on. And, um... One of the two characters I was playing in that campaign had three levels of warlock because she was a magical girl. Mm-hmm. And that's how that, that that's basically how we portrayed magical girls, like having some levels in Warlock, Pact of the Talisman. Right. Yeah, yeah, makes it, it honestly makes the most sense of all the classes. Watch she, your health. Yep, yeah, she was um she was Warlock and Bard. Neat. It actually worked out really well. But like we also had another full warlock who thought she was a sorcerer. She doesn't know why her magic made her green, she was a warlock of the ooze. Ah. Uh -huh. But, like, we had to consciously make a point to take short rests. I mean, I know we didn't for the Farland campaign because, for the most part, no one in the party needed to take short rests. Right. Like, there were a couple of abilities that were recharged with short rests, but that was about it. Just when I heard a deck of fall. I will Not say, an Elder like, Scrolls one. 
I will say one of my favorite one of my favorite abilities I've ever had I had um because like I I wouldn't say my main character but the character I started the campaign with Rooney she was a wild sorcerer mm. she had tides of chaos you would have had fun with me in a tides a character with tides of chaos I okay. One of the characters that I know that Link really wanted to, to play as in Farland was a sorcerer. And he was probably going to be a wild mage at that. And it's like, dude, do it. It'd be so much fun. I also, there was also a really fun, like, so because I use Foundry, there is a um, module called Wild Magic Search. Yep. It does a lot of automating of the wild magic stuff. But what's cool is it has several different systems of, like, how you want to do your wild magic rolls. And, like, there were a couple really interesting ones. Like, one, the die you used got smaller as your, um, spell- as the spell level you cast went up. I don't know how I felt about that one because, like, just too much chance of, like, blowing a ninth level spell with a wild magic surge. Yeah. But one cool one I liked was the longer you went without a surge, the smaller your die went, God. So the more that you successfully did it, the more chance of it surging later on. And, like, surging doesn't automatically mean spell fail, either. No. Just means that some added effect happens. And, like, I actually kind of thought that system of, like, the die getting smaller was actually pretty cool. But, like, I also just loved abusing Tides of Chaos. Yeah. Because, because you know what Tides of Chaos really works out to? Hmm. Sure, you have advantage for a roll, and the DM gets a free wild magic surge off of you. Yep. That's half the fun of it. Yeah, exactly. Like, I loved it. It was also funny because Rooney was actually a unicorn. Yeah. Or a runicorn, as I like to call her. Yeah. In that world, unicorns can shapeshift into humanoid forms and they're carnivorous. Well, if you would kindly stop picking up the rejuvenation potions. I kind of need some now. I only have... It's like I can sit still and just let it regenerate for a while, but we kind of been pushing through rapidly. Yeah. But yeah, basically, um, one of the earlier surges she had was actually summoning a unicorn into a fight. <laughs> Which led to some amusing dialogue, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> of course, also, like, the first big boss fight we had, she, um, may have accidentally rolled two nat 20s on a chaos bolt with advantage. Ooh. Uh, yeah, the DM ruled that, um, especially because one of the damage rolls she got was lightning, the necromancer just blew up. <laughs> now, Rooney had never logical. killed anyone before because she was 17 and from Earth. <laughs> it was mildly traumatizing! <laughs> I should hope so. so. Yeah, to like just suddenly like blow up a necromancer. She got some cool spells out of it though. Yeah. Suffice to say, when Burn. your DM enables shenanigans, it's great. And double nat 20s felt like it needed to be rewarded. Yeah, that's one of those things that just don't happen enough that you shouldn't reward it with something. Yeah. Like, double nat ones also would get punished, because, again, it's so unlikely. <laughs> What's fun now is in, like, V12 of Foundry, which is what I'm using now. They actually do- they actually show, like, uh, roll streaks. Which oh, is shit. fun. Which is why we know when someone has rolled three nat ones in a row. 
Hitting the save point. Damn it. Oh, I think I vaguely remember what happens here. Yeah. Bit a bit. It's locked. This place is weirdly designed, but I suppose that shouldn't be too out of the gate when it comes to freaking. Oh, it's just a door. That was something magical in there. Hmm. I can't move it. Still? Even from this side. Uh, shoddy. Ah, this must be it. Plus 20% to minimum damage while unarmed. But I like my fire. But okay, but you can make it a. That. Yeah, you can make it a adjacent coral thingy and increase your. Damage to something stupid. I Your like minimum e damage to something stupid. I like, like increasing my minimum damage to something stupid. I think this is going to essentially go all the way around and then back to where we came from. Probably. Which I am fine with. But yeah, I'm sitting here like, I, I, I like the idea of increasing my damage to something stupid because it's hilarious. <laughs> Mind you, that's going to be a lot of coral, I think. Eight coral at least right now. Sixteen if we wanted to make it real stupid. Um, I don't want to... I don't want to jump that far ahead because, like, that's well, a yeah, lot not right of now, but... stones. And we would need another eight jacinth. Theoretically, we should be able to afford it when we get to the point of being able to get it to 16 anyways. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is where we started. Yep. Still have this BS. Whee! <laughs> so I've told you that I've gotten into a uh, group with semi-randos online, right? For uh, yeah. Pathfinder? Yeah, yeah. With the Barbarian, right? Yep. Uh, so, we've kind of... We've been playing basically every Monday. Which has been great. But for the most part, too, we also have a pseudo... We have a side campaign with that same group. Because sometimes, not everyone... Not all five players are able to make it. Like, sometimes we'll only have three. Reasonable. And it's... At the three point where they're, you're like, okay, we'll cancel for the evening and whatnot, which kind of feels bad, but, you know. So one of the players goes, hey, why don't we play another campaign uh, in place of that one whenever the hell we need to? Like, because, I mean, we're all together this Monday and all that fun stuff. And uh -huh. so we're like, all right. And that campaign has also been run every like other other week on Sunday now simply because it's like okay but now that we got this other campaign there's a chance we might not get to play it for weeks on end because you know we'll instead have all our Monday players around so why don't we set that to a definite Sunday thing <laughs> After the whole rigmarole of just making it a Sunday substitute game, which uh, I'm not going to complain about. Oh, there's another ring. Is there? Oh, yeah, there was. Just double checking the corpses. I don't know. And I'm loving both the characters I'm playing for, though. It's just, just funny how the hell that came around in the first place. Meanwhile, As, like, I'm DMing. Oh, man. It just feels good to be a player. <laughs> yeah. I'm just but having I, fun. I'm having fun with Celestial Job again, so. In part because I've shoved so much fucking homebrew into it at this point. 
treasure. That's an amulet. Oh, I suppose the monk wants to open a treasure chest or two, eh? Huh? You you had opened that last one. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow, my OBS my OBS is kind of like occasionally the bottom half of it is like blacking out, and I'm very confused. Honestly, my OBS sometimes does that too. It gets a little bit worrying because I think that something's going to happen with it. It's Same. Nothing. Nothing happens. I'm like, okay. You okay, this is OBS? A thing. I, but yeah, I look forward to having like an entire suite of plus five gear, hopefully by end game. Oh, totally. Which is also part of why I'm not like trying super hard to get a ton of money because I know you're gonna need the money for enchanting. I do want to. Essentially, what will, what I would definitely call. Um... Oh, that's where it came out. All right. What I definitely would call the city gear, as it were. Oh. Potion. Basically just gear that I'll wear in town for the purposes of buying and selling shit, like a mm -hmm. charisma plus five I'll emulate. Deep talked, high priest of Blibdulpulp. Kneel in supplication before the sea mother. And be cleansed of the heresy you have committed here. Do not be afraid. Your sacrifice will be mercifully painless. Ah, such blasphemy in the face of the Sea Mother. A pity. You will be sacrificed. Your sins wash away like so much ketsum in the tide. Okay, but all I can remember now is the Crab Shack. Cry up. Listen, at some point or another, I don't care if it is a D&D game or a Pathfinder game, I am going to have one penultimate battle with one group against Blipdolpoop. Oh. Yeah, no, we're... No! Maybe we can't just... Just can't from there? Okay. We can't do so from the pool of water. Okay, before we sell, though. No. Wrong fucking button. No. Uh. Right. One thing of coral. Okay, I don't yeah. think we have any. Uh. Yeah, I don't have anything that can be broken down. Not here. Teal. My prices are always more than coral. I might need to relook through these for better armor now. <laughs> I think about it. Oh yeah, whatever campaign it is that I run, I want to have some sort of like, I don't care if it's like a mini boss or something, but like an avatar of Blipdopulp coming out of the water being all like, I'm going to wreck your faces. Okay, I just know we Probably can never pronounce Probably not what she's going to say, but hey. Oh, very, very few even bother to try, I will not lie. Is that a helmet better than my helmet? Okay, no. and like the other thing I specifically remember though is Crab Pope. God, Andrew fucking near died that night when I brought out the <laughs> the Crab Pope. Elzoki was a fun character. Welcome back. Seeking arms and armor? I have It was it was a really good if not random feeling. I just kind of wish that the the true spirit of the campaign was evoked more, but I mean, I suppose when you love your characters that you're playing, you'll love the character that you're playing, so. Yeah. 
breaking like, that down wouldn't wouldn't do anything. Yeah. You could get Fey armor. I could get Fey armor. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. Jesus. Heck, I could buy it because I have spare money and I don't need to enchant shit. And then later on, we can honestly just disenchant the armor and then enchant it on something else to get that nice boon. Well, this is just um, runestones. Oh, oh! Yeah, th that's what the emerald is. What makes it fake? Well, I will. I will drop it for you. Feel loved. Oh, all right. Yeah. 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 I don't know. No, I know exactly. <laughs> okay, that actually looks really good, though. Yeah, it does. I, I just can't help but think it's a little tight around the waist. <laughs> but also the exposed biceps. Welcome. Yeah. If you need weapons or armor. Gotta show off that whole 11, <laughs> uh, 11, 12 strength? Yeah. Okay, my strength is. What is my strength? No, it's 11. Oh, yeah, because of the... That. No? Why is it 11? Okay, I'm going to double check whether or not he has something better than my gloves of six. Welcome back. My shop carries the finest armor and weapons. Four, five... Imports from nope. He does not. And like the remarkable scale mail is better than the um Fey one. Oh not really. It's the same. Yeah, it's the same. It's also heavier. Yeah. So. Like part of why I like the Fey one is because it's lighter. Alright. We Back to the Temple of Doom. Let's Wee. Gimitar. I didn't even see the word before I picked it up. But no, because I know uh, I had originally made that campaign, particularly just so as we could be all like, oh, oh you found the Yoshi. Alright. Sorry. It's Sam's empty now. I honestly did not realize that it would just be like, that's it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's definitely a secret around. Where's the switch? Where's the switch, Blipdol Poop? None of those are switches. Maybe it's a thing you gotta do it in order? Nope. This one? Damn, I was actually looking at the statues being like, do they have giant statues as Libdol Poop? No. Oh. Get done, did it. From across the room comes the sound of a door opening. Alright. Okay. So the other, other side, side is going to be open now. It's locked. Or the other other side room. There we go. No. Take the money. Ooh, an emerald. That'll be Jet. good for- that'll be good for you. I think that's all that's in here. Same. Yeah, because we, we were pretty thorough. It's locked. And I don't want to go through this whole windy maze again to get out. Are you sure? Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm actually kind of amazed that all that was here was the one priest of Blipdolpulp. And again, 
drastically disappointed that these statues aren't of Blibdopulp. I might just be enjoying saying Blibdopulp. There, there it go. is. 3,000 books. Alright. 